I've always wanted to race. The hardest race, helicopters chasing. You can get right there. I got to see racers talk, strategy, to be the people that can do desert racing and rock crawling. It's ridiculously hard. We want to share the story with Josh, never racing before to racing in cameras in 2022. What the heck are we going to race? No, I don't know. We haven't had this conversation yet, so well, let's talk about it. Say you're looking for a stock class car, right? Like, what would you look for? Like, what would you be thinking about having to go into that class? And what would you race, do you think? Yeah, you know, that's tough. Um, there's a lot of different strategies there. And the stock class is interesting in the way that you have to keep so much of the stock vehicle to be legal in the class. So do you go with a four-door, which might have a longer wheelbase, a uh, four-door Jeep, for example? Um, you have a longer wheelbase, might be a little faster and more comfortable in the desert. Or do you go with a two-door that might not be as fast in the desert, but a lot more nimble in the rocks? Um, you know, you have the new Broncos are, are coming out. That might make a really good stock class car. Uh, Jeeps are legendary here. They've been wheeling here for a long time. Um, you know, and then do you try to find something that's already built? Or do you try to find something that's uh, maybe very basic, untouched, not, not tinkered with, and then build it yourself? There's also the, the degree of if somebody's selling that car, what are they moving to? And would you rather have what they're moving to? That's kind of the competitive side of my, my thought process of, you know, why is somebody getting rid of this car and building another car? Sure. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with the car, but maybe their next car is faster and I'm starting with the slower car right off the bat. Right, right behind you know, us. Yeah. So then what about, you know, solid axle versus IFS or independent front suspension? Yeah. I mean, that definitely would come into play. That's an argument that's been around for, well, ever since probably I think Shannon Campbell brought the first IFS car out here. Right. And right off the bat, that was an argument whether or not that was good or bad. Uh, IFS has come a long way, whether it's in a stock class or in a top shelf car. You know, I think IFS has definitely uh, got its place as far as being fast in the desert. In the stock class, I'm not sure that I would want to go IFS. I think I'd want the reliability of a solid axle, personally sure. speaking. I'm not even sure on the stock class what you're allowed to change in the IFS. So are you able to change enough stuff to beef it up to be reliable for a, an event that's 100 miles plus in some of the hardest terrain you'll ever put that car through? You know, the thing about tribalism, and not in the sense of Tribe 16, but just like, you kind of choose teams. Sure. You know, you either like Elvis or the Rolling Stones. <laughs> you know, you're a Corvette guy or a Porsche guy. And there's some limiting factors to being channelized for what you like. I'm personally the kind of guy who wants to run anything but a Jeep. <laughs> there's, it's not because I have anything against Jeeps. It's just that they seem like belly buttons. You know, everybody's got them. <laughs> There's a lot out here. And they're good cars and they do a great job and a lot of people love them. And they're easy to turn into a race car in this case. You can just, you know, they don't start with a lot of interior anyway, so you can strip the thing down to parade rest pretty quick. But the thing is, is that the one you take a picture of is the new Bronco. The one you take a picture of is the Hawk. The one that you use for marketing is the one people care about. Sure. And you can only do so much in graphics to make it a different kind of Jeep. Yeah, that's true. The other thing is, is you're really deep in a big pond of past performance with Jeeps. Right. You're gonna find a lot more parts, but you're also not gonna build a lot more parts. Why would you build your own axle trusses if you can just go get one? Right. And there's something to be said for getting slag down your shirt, you know, and building your own stuff. Yeah. That's true. You're so close to Matt out in Texas now that it just wouldn't occur to me to do something that he didn't recommend. So, yeah. I mean, whatever. Well, I know the they're huge is, Jeep guys. I know, which is <laughs> problematic. <laughs> because you got to listen to him. You don't not listen to him. Right. But it'd also be fun to not listen to him. Also true. You know, and, and it, look, look, I know you know what you're doing. I know you're awesome. But let's stretch it a little bit. Let's let's do something with this. How about you show me how awesome you are because <laughs> we'll build an FJ. Right, Adam oh. Shearer out there. I mean, him and Lance and those guys at Tribe 6. Shearer, Shearer. Shearer. 
All those guys, I mean, they've put in the time and the hours to really uh, be recognized as some of the top builders in this industry. Yeah, but you also look at what they're doing and they're stretching. Yeah. They're doing stuff in alternate metals. They're doing stuff hand fab, the entire thing. Right. They're flexing. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, they're showing that they're not just, you know, go through an ORW catalog and no, bolt they're on not the shit. On. They're making parts that other people want. Right. This here, this is the fire pit. This is where everyone congregates every day, every night. You got the big screen. Ford just did a huge uh, Bronco launch today, so. They've got the Baja Bronco, the new Bronco, and then the little Bronco out here. Look at that thing. Oh, so there it is. That's the race stock class. It was really fun interviewing Jason Shear and even dropping that we wanted to race stock class eventually and him saying we should jump in a Bronco. And hopefully race myself, you know, is eventually a goal of racing stock class maybe next year. And we're talking about that. To get you in a Bronco, man. <laughs> <laughs> that would be insane. Uh, <laughs> so, who knows, that might be a possibility. So who won stock class this year? Was it the, the Auto Mafia guy right next to yeah, us? Yeah, yeah. So he's he won it. That's the second year in what, a row he's what, won. What does he have? It's just a 1980 truck on leaf springs. It's a 22 RE motor. It's got a. It's stroked out a little bit, but so it's just, he just drives uh, 19, the wheels off. 1980 of Toyota just, pickup truck. <laughs> Long bed. That's so crazy. Yeah, and he so won he, the whole thing. The, yeah, against all the Jeeps, class. against everything out there. I mean, guys that it threw. I mean, there was I mean, a V8 like Jeep out too. there. Like, I mean, that thing oh, looked it was like pounded. a piece. Right. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> a, a rock crawler you'd see pull up on the trail, you know? It's just like... But he just smoked everyone. I mean, Breland's a good friend of ours. And, and, he, and you know, Yoda Mafia right on the side. I'm right. Like, good for him. You know, right. like, he sponsored the guy, and they won. And I'm yeah. just like, you know, kind of got, like, the little fire in me, a little comp competition <laughs> fire in me. I'm like, okay, so now... You could win with this 1980s Toyota. So or, what was that Toyota? He's a solid axle car. Yeah. Right. Was an IFS, so independent front suspension on leaf springs. So you don't even have to go that bad. Like you can go shock. And uh, the Jeep platform has just always done well, especially in a stock format. Yeah. You either want to get somebody else's old car, right? That's already kind of most of the way there. Mm -hmm. Or if you're going to start on a new platform, a lot of times these guys they buy a a totaled car or something off an auction site, right? I, I'm, I don't know, man, talking with Matt. For me today, if we could just, you know, wave a magic wand, a, a stock JL two-door would be would be my vehicle of choice. Yeah. So. How much does this cost? I don't. <laughs>